Hello people, my name is Rage, and welcome one and all out to a tavern brawl, and this time, this time I am excited. We've had our customary crossroads after an expansion, so I believe that this will be the first truly whispery brawl of awesome... Uh, no. A quick message from Future Rage. Initially, I was disappointed with this, but then it occurs to me that we haven't had a web spinner beastie brawl in at least three expansions, I think, and I do go on to have three incredibly awesome fun game. So, uh, as it turns out, I am very happy and I would implore you to check them out. Alright, this is fine. I'm gonna play Druid, because Druid got a lovely amount of uh, beasties in Whispers and hopefully that'll be pretty good, but I just, ooh, I shake my fist at thee, Blizzard. I shake my fist at thee. Unless it's going to be like a massive surprise and we just draw our actual old gods here, but you never know. Okay, Tree of Life. I am definitely keeping that because if there's one thing I love doing is waiting to we're both on a tiny amount of health and then effectively resetting the entire match and therefore making my opponent have to stay here getting frustrated for as long as possible. <laughs> oh my god. He played a web spinner. But that's not even a druid card! <laughs> Let's do this thing. I wish they had chosen the more sleeker, cooler spider model for web spinner, because the big, chunky, furry ones never, never really do it for me, which is a weird sentence in a vacuum. So if I had to say, I would, uh, I would admit that the big, chunky, furry ones just, just don't really have that kind of shebang for me, you know? Alright, so we got some serious web spinner on web spinner action. Let's see what beasts we do end up getting. Number one, a stranglethorn tiger, which is not bad at all. And a huge toad. I am actually going to put down the huge toad, because not only does this kill two web spinners, it then hopefully kills a third web spinner when its death rattle activates, which is very, very nice. He might just go four web spinners here, which is absolutely fine. And also at the Dragonhawk, so we'll kill that with our Toad, although I kind of want to kill that with my face, almost, but we'll save. For now, let's just uh, increase our army tenfold. There we go, because even if he hero powers my Toad away, it is likely, like, you know, 75% likely to thrash one of those web spinners upside the head, but we shall see. Oh good, he's actually gonna trade it, and of course it goes face! <laughs> That's fine though, that's truly and honestly fine, it really is, and now it's time for the hero power. He really is going face a lot, which is weird to me, because you'd think he would want some uh, actual board control here, but he just seems to not really give a crap about it. Granted, it's technically doing well for him, but at the same time, seriously? Like, come on now. And what have we got? What have we got? River Crocolis, that is very, very nice. That's gonna kill a lot of web spinners and angry chickens. So for now, we'll whack this lot down, because at least these guys can trade with a lot of web spinners. And then we got the Stranglethorn Tiger. But the thing is, irrelevant of anything, my salvation and uh, fun is to just Tree of Life. Like, I don't even care what the game state is in. The first person to reach around five health is being Tree of Life. That's just how it's happening. All right, we're finally gonna get some board control after being repeatedly nipped by spiders. I mean, they can't be venomous, otherwise this would have just gone horrifically. And boom, and boom, and whack the tiger down. I almost, for a second, forgot what species of animal that was, but I did it. All right, nobody panic. I managed it. So we're the first person to play an actual meaty beast, so unless he's just not really... <laughs> What a card to get in this brawl. Thinking about it, actually, what am I even saying? We haven't had the uh, all sp web spinner brawl for maybe three expansions, I think. So, actually, there is a lot of new beasts for us to be uh, getting on with here. So, it's not actually that bad. All right, we'll kill one more of them. And uh, there we go. Another angry chicken. God, I love angry chickens so much. Look at that. That is so unlucky. 
All right, we'll put down our last three web spinners then and see what we can deal with. We'll, we'll go face here because I do need to catch up a little bit on damage and actually start threatening him because one of my biggest weaknesses as a half stun player is I very much like the board and sometimes when I should go face, I really don't. That's why would he not use the web spinner and then he'd save his camel. I mean, it doesn't really... I guess if he was going to do that, it doesn't make a big difference either way. But still, come on now. And um, that is fine. So we've got our angry chickens, which is just lovely. So let's whack them down. Oh yeah. Angry chicken party. <laughs> I like how what effectively Acid Maw just did was a poor death acid on the corpse of the crocodile that it had just killed just to really doubly make sure that that is one dead crocolisk like that is uh, he is thoroughly cooked i wonder if acid would cook it because it like burns and bubbles so maybe then it would have to get through the whole thing and who that is not bad also that is amazing what a top deck right there wow I am just going to go face. I actually don't mind because he can trade and kill all of these anyway. So I may as well get the damage in before they all die. And this way I get to summon them all as 2-2 two -two Trents. And then we can just go for another full round of faces. So he can do a lot here. Recycle? What? You're going to steal a web spinner? Oh, no, it's not steal. For some reason, I just was like, no, that's Entomb, because Entomb is rife at the moment. It's ridiculously good, but no, we've basically just lost a uh, trend there. He's actually going face with the worm. That does make sense. Though he could have such a good activation of its effect. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, let's do this, man. Trent's for everyone! <laughs> Yay! And then look, Trent's for everyone! <laughs> Followed by Trent's for everyone! <laughs> that's great. What an army of trees that I have got today. I, I think that's quite good in an all web spinner brawl to somehow end up with an army of Trents. I mean, next turn we threaten Lethal, so he has to start killing everything. I mean, unfortunately, we're only going to get one Trent from all of these. And yep, slowly but surely they all die. But he can only kill two more, which is uh, only just saving him. Unless he goes, no, no, there's really nothing else he can do. Entirely depends on what kind of health he's rocking. But it doesn't really matter because I am going to put him to two health and then proceed to Tree of Life him. Although my Exner is very good there. Though I think it's kind of sucky that I've just really not got that many actually good beasts all up in here. Either way, we are going to do that. Which will prevent him getting an extra beast, which is lovely. Get rid of this, and we'll go face a, a little bit more, and then work down two more web spinners. For really, there is naught else. In fact, no, I'll also kill the bat, which of course is going to. Yep, it did, did in fact kill one of my two one. Oh no, it killed my web spinner. So, ooh, we get our own acid maw. That's actually really, really good here. So, there we are. In fact, Timberwolf is great because we just got an army of beasts. <laughs> And I'm excited for this tree of life. He's going to be so sad, is this poor fan. Wait, I'm just going to... SPECTACULAR! No! No! Why would you... Do oh, it's so sad. It's so sad. <laughs> I'm so sad right now. Oh, that's just... I, I'm gonna go have a cry. I'm gonna li just... I'm... I'm gonna go have a cry. We'll pray priest this time. I... I feel... I feel like a part of me is missing. That is truly... Truly sad. It really is. I just... I just don't know anymore. What is life? What is life? Baby, don't hurt me! No more. 
I guess I shouldn't have put so much on the board, I suppose. I, I kind of encouraged him to concede, but I thought for sure he'd have a way out of it. He had so many cards in his hand, so many random beasts. I just don't know. We'll, we'll mulligan try and find some spells every now and then, but no, really, just no spells for us. That's a shame. That's a big, big shame, but it's okay. Let's do this thing. Auto Rocket! I like that name. He is he is the Rocket Man. Whether he'll be shooting through the sky or not, we don't know, but let's see what happens. Uh, I'm going to actually borrow a little bit of the Druid's technique and go for the tactic of ignore my opponent's web spinners, because he's going to web spin a coin web spinner here. Oh no, he's actually not. Interesting. Boom. Boom. And face, uh, little spider bite. I say little, these things have got some serious jaws on them. Like, they kind of look like they would take your arm off, depending on how big they are. And by how big they are, they are about half the size of a human from my uh, wow knowledge and carry and grub. Very, very nice to get. Like, look at that thing's mouth. Talking of mouths that you do not want to bite you. Oh, God, just imagining the pfft as all the needle teeth sink into their... Ah! <laughs> That is not good. That is not good. And then we'll do this trade so we can kill it with a carrion bug next turn. And wow. That is some quality beastage to get all up in here. So yeah, I can see why they've done Web Spinner, actually. It has been a long while since uh, we've had an infusion of the beasts. But that means next week surely has got to be the first Old Gods inspired brawl. It's just, it's just got to be. It's just got to be. <laughs> All right, well, this is easy. We just uh, kill that and then really go to town. All right, Carrion Grub, I'm giving you a flanking party of four web spinners. Also, why did the monkey wait till I finished putting web spinners on the board to die? It was like, it was like, oh, oh God, I'm dying. But he's not paying attention to my death. I need him to see what he's done. I'm going to hold on until he's ready. Okay, he's looking. He's looking. All right, here we go. Ugh. I'm just there like, okay, that's that's lovely, monkey man. Whatever whatever makes you happy. I very much need to get a good Muckless Champion off, which obviously means waiting till turn 7 to play it, which is kind of fine. Jeweled Scarab as well, a very good beast to get, because then you can actually get some cards that aren't restricted to spells and uh, beasts. I wonder what if chose. I'm going to laugh if he has actually chosen, like, Iron Fur Grizzly as a three-mana card there. That would really, really suck for him. And... Pit Snake, not great right now, but also not awful. Let's go full trade on and see what we end up with. Infested Wolf is great in this situation, and Duspore as well, not bad. All right, the more I'm playing this, the more I'm actually kind of happy that this is what they've done. Especially if my Infested Wolf dies by turn seven, and then I can give the Muckler's Champion buff to the two spiders that will pop out of it. I kind of want to just flood the board at this stage, I think makes sense, and then have maximum alive banana receivers. Granted, I've never tried in my life to feed a banana to a spider, but I can only assume... Oh, he went for the Void Terror. Not bad at all. I can only assume that spiders absolutely love bananas. I mean, it just it just seems the correct thing, right? If you wiggle it a bit, make it think that it's alive, and then uh, Duskbore, and then one more web spinner, and then we ignore that Void Terror, because it really does not matter at all. And then next turn, oh, we're about to get some serious bananas all up in here. I mean, the thing to kill, there isn't actually a good target for that Void Terror to hit on my entire board, because he kills the Dust Ball, and a web spinner just picks it off. He kills the Free Free, and then I have two more spiders anyway. So, unless he has something like Hellfire, he's actually in a really terrible position. Wow, he's that desperate for a spell that he's life-tapping in the web spinner brawl. That is quite insane. What is your plan, Warlock Man? What is your plan? He hovered for a little bit. He did. He tried to. Oh, he's gone for the owl by... No, that one. Okay, so that's probably what he's going to kill, but that's really not good for him. Like, if he does, then I can break the infested wolf and finish off the Void Terror. And then we're going to have some Buffy Madness all up in here. And yes, of course, by Buffy Madness, I do mean the Vampire Slayer, the greatest of all Buffies. And there we go. So we'll get rid of that. Get rid of that. And then this pretty much should just be a slaughter, right? Especially as next turn we can Timberwolf it up. And the thing is, if he has no way to kill Muckler's Champion... 
then, well, yeah, this is a banana-based slaughter. See, that just doesn't matter. Like, why would I kill it? I'm not gonna kill it, man. I'm not gonna kill it. I'm just not gonna do that. <gasps> Web spinner. And then another one. Web spinner? No, Timberwolf. I know what I'm doing with my life. And then I'm actually gonna heal up that guy just so he gets even more bananas! No, don't go! I'm giving bananas to Beast. Why would you leave? Oh, God. That is that is just so sad. All right, final class. I guess I either choose... Uh, let's go for... Let's go for... We gotta go Hunter, don't we? I mean, it makes sense. It's a beast brawl. We gotta give the Hunter the props it desires. Uh, and I kinda only wanted to choose a class that was connected to either Druid or Priest, because I'm OCD like that. So, here we go! The final game of this tavern brawl. So far, two fairly confident wins, so let's see how this goes. Where's with all the Warlocks? I'm not even sure. Is Warlock even a good class for this? I feel like it just isn't. And uh, let's see if we can't find ourselves Explosive Trap, which would be hilariously effective in this. Come on, any spells? On the Hunt is massively good. Holy hell. Not only do we kill a Web Spinner, we get another thing that can then trade with another Web Spinner. Hunter's looking pretty damn good. Ain't that right, Kihelium? Good old Kihelium, as I remove this gem from the portal. Come on, play shockingly. A web spinner. You can do it. I greet you too, traveler. Yes, I do. All of the greetings. Just so many greetings here. And then I'm going to get rid of it because I can. And then we have a really quite dominating board advantage for really the rest of this game. So that is awesome. I mean, he should just play two web spinners here, which of course he is going to. And then I might just match him, unless I get a really ridiculously good two-mana beast off this. Let's see. And uh, no, not exactly. So that is uh, fine. And then we'll go face, because I really have no need to trade the other one. I just wanted to kill my web spinner because of the small chance of getting a river crocolisk or something. No, my mastiff! You killed the pooch! How could you? Holy shit, that is so lucky. My word. I am upset. I am very, very, very much upset. Fortunately, we drew Jungle Panther, which is going to survive and then trade with it, so it's not the end of the world, but come on now. Guys, we're going to play a spider, and then we're just going to put a hat on it. <laughs> That's so adorable to imagine. <laughs> Why would you do that? That's such a waste. Yeah, you get loads of extra beasts, but at the same time, dude, you need stuff to play. Like, that's really going to backfire, I think, more than he knows. I'm a little bit concerned for him, which I guess means, you know, good things for me, but still. All right, let's do this thing. So, we whack that down, and then I'm going to put a hat on a spider. Why is that so amusing? Look, there you go, spider. Have a hat. <laughs> Imagine a tarantula in a mini top hat. That is like the suavest spider you've ever seen. Fierce monkey, eh? The fiercest of the monkeys. Uh, this is actually quite a nice turn for me. And he got a fiery bat, which is also awesome. For him. And then we're going to do that there, which will kill him, give me a beast, and then give me the hat back, right? So I can then whack the hat on my next spider and then keep trading as we get ourselves the cobra. But for now, the best play is the creeper followed by the web spinner. But still, that is just incredible. So many hats. Hats for all. Oh, Rexar became such a good hat salesman. Oh, crap. That's not good. That's really, really, really not good. Oh, we got Stranglethorn Tiger, so that's actually okay. And the thing is, the Emperor Cobra is going to be fine here, because it actually will prevent us from completely being eliminated by this lion, because we can kill it with that, we can trade up our 2-2s two with his 2-2s, two and all shall be well, unless he has a spell that can help him out, or I guess unless he's got an owl that can silence my cobra. No, he does have his own cobra, though, as I take quite the face smack here, but that's fine. I refuse to have my one loss as the class that is all about beasts. I think that would be just too sad, honestly. 
All right, we'll do that. He dies. We'll whack yet another hat on top of this spider. This is now a ghost spider wearing not one but two explorer's hats as we trade off another web spinner and hope for the best. Mounted raptor is definitely the best. And then the play is to actually give him a hat just so he requires multiple trades. I think this is certainly okay here, though I am definitely on the ropes. I mean, those two hyenas are going to be a problem, as well as Muckler, Tyrant of the Veil. That's a shame, because then he can just banana it up and uh, kill my raptor. Come on. Yeah, that's actually really good. We get some nice trading from that. All right, and then a final web spinner to finish it. That makes sense. Okay, we can do this. So we can definitely do this. We'll whack a hat on him. Here, invisible tiger, let me put a hat on you. You're getting like stalked through the jungle and the tiger breaks the tree line and starts prowling towards you and you just kind of hold up an explorer's hat and go, here, here little, little kitty, this is, this is fine, right? He should have bananaed his 2-1. If I'm honest, that... Oh, no, he's going to trade it anyway. All right, well, never mind. I think I am dead, though. There's really not much I can do to get out of this horrific situation. So, that does suck, I will admit. But at the same time, uh, you win some and you lose some. Let's actually hat the frog. I think that makes the most sense there. And hope for the best. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm not dead. I'm at least not dead. Oh god, he got two of the dragon hawks? That is ridiculous. Absol I swear to god. Oh no, I needed that tiger for tiger based activities. <sighs> I needed it so bad. Milan is actually really good, but at the same time, just doesn't matter. <laughs> and we are so dead. We are so unbelievably, irrevocably dead. All right, I have one chance. Well, not even one chance, honestly. No, I do. I do. I mean, I can put the hat on and then kill this, which is lovely. And then it's course going to kill the web spinner. Nice. That's surprisingly helpful. And then Milan and a web spinner. And then we just hope he can't pull the three damage from somewhere. But at this point, he can just swarm the board with stuff. And if I don't draw something like Explosive Trap, then yeah, it is game over. So hard all up in here. But, you know, it's fine because I got to put hats on animals. And that's always been a dream of mine to go around the jungle and just give hats to all the creatures and keep their heads lovely and warm in what is ironically a tropically warm place, but still, I think they appreciate it. Come on, just do the death blow. I know you've got thousands of beasts all up in there, and I'm totally dead. Wow. And he actually got a ridiculously good hero power there. That is insane. Jungle Panther. Well, that sucks. I am going to have to Yugi it up here and get some serious heart of the cards. Wow. It's okay, I can do this. I can do this. Heart of the Cards is going to guide me with a massive taunt. No, another huge two. Heart of the Cards? Oh, come on! It was close. It was definitely close to being acceptable there, but but not really quite. I mean, I'll do that, and then, then I'll put a hat on the mythical demigod stag, because I think he does need the hat. Imagine if that was Explosive Trap. Like, imagine the turnaround that this would be. And I just don't get it. I mean, he's obviously got a check, so I am dead. But you never know. Holy shit. Holy hell. He actually thinks it's Explosive Trap. <laughs> what? He actually thinks it's explosive trap. That's hilarious. Oh, God. That's astounding. And then we end as we began with a hat on each of my spiders. Oh, God. If only if it was now freezing trap, but he knows that it's not. And goodbye me. <laughs> All right, guys, I actually had a lot of fun with that web spinner brawl. They were three quality games. Like if you've enjoyed this, subscribe for more. And I will see you all next time. A oh, good boy as we quickly open the pack. Boom, 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 boom. No! Not Pagel! Not bad! I'll see you later on, guys. You